Uh, on Colombia, the situation in the Cauca Department of Colombia, where at least 13 human rights defenders are reported to have been killed so far this year, uh, including three in just the past few days, is deeply worrying. Uh, although these latest cases are still being verified by our office in Colombia, we've received reports that on the 22nd of April, uh, Hugo de Jesus Geraldo, who is a social leader, leader, was killed in the town of Santander de Quilichao. Uh, and last weekend, two other social leader, leaders, Mario Chilhueso and Teodomiro Sotelo Anacona, were also killed, as well as the husband of a third social leader. A growing number of armed groups, as well as criminal groups, fighting for the control of illicit economies in this uh, part of Colombia are behind most of the attacks, uh, which have been increasing in recent months. However, the COVID-19 pandemic and the restrictions imposed by the government and by communities themselves uh, to avoid the spread of the virus seem to have aggravated an already violent and, and volatile situation. Armed groups and criminal groups appear to be taking advantage of the fact that most of the people are in lockdown uh, to expand their presence and control over the territory. In addition to what appear to be targeted killings of human rights defenders and social leaders, our office has received daily reports of threats, including death threats and harassment against the local population, including against farmers, indigenous peoples, and Afro-descendant communities who are trying to ensure confinement and prevention measures are complied with. And in some parts of Cauca Department, uh, clashes between security forces and armed groups and criminal groups have intensified, uh, including in indigenous territories. Civilians have been caught in the violence, uh, resulting in the death of a, an indigenous child in Toribio and the forced displacement of rural communities in Argelia and El Tambo. Uh, we're also worried about attacks against uh, FARC uh, EP, former combatants, um, and according to the UN verification mission in Colombia, 36 uh, of them have been killed in Cauca since the peace agreement was signed back in November 2016. And we call on all those involved in this violence to halt the fighting in line with the UN Secretary General's call for a global ceasefire, uh, so that measures aimed at preventing the spread of COVID-19 can be properly implemented. We remind the authorities of their obligation to prevent attacks and protect the local population. And any attack against human rights defenders undermines democratic space, including the right to participate. And an integral response of civil and security authorities is particularly relevant in rural areas such as this. Um, <clears throat> we also, of course, call on the government to conduct thorough, prompt and impartial and independent investigations into all allegations of human rights violations and hold the perpetrators to account.